Welcome to Art History with Jackie. Today, we will be looking at the life and art of prolific British artist Tracy Emin. She is best known for her autobiographical and confessional artwork. Once the enfant terrible of the young British artist in the 1980s, Tracy Emin is now a Royal Ac Academician of the Royal Academy of Arts. You may recognize her neon phrases, which have now been copied all over the world. Emin was born in Croydon, a district of South London, to an English mother and Turkish father. She was brought up in Margate, Kent, with her twin brother, Paul. Her work has been analyzed within the context of early adolescent and childhood abuse, as well as sexual assault. Emin was raped at the age of 13, which has gone on to inform much of her work. She studied fashion at Medway College of Design. In 1984, she studied printing at Maidstone Art College. And in 1987, she moved to London to study at the Royal College of Art, where she obtained an MA in painting. During this time, she was in a serious relationship with fellow artist Billy Childish. After graduation, she had two traumatic abortions, and those experiences led her to destroy all the art she had produced in grad graduate school in a period that she later labeled as emotional suicide. In 1993, Emin opened a shop with fellow artist Sarah Lucas in Bethnal Green. Also in 1993, she had her first solo show at White Cube, a contemporary art gallery in London. It was called My Major Retrospective and was an autobiographical. In the mid-1990s, Emin had a relationship with artist and gallerist Carl Friedman. In 1995, he curated the show Minky Mankey, during which he told Emin her works weren't popular because they were small scale. The result was one of her seminal pieces. In 1997, her work, Everyone I Have Ever Slept With, 1963 to 1995, a tent appliqued with the names of everyone the artist had ever shared a bed with, was shown at Charles Saatchi's Sensation Exhibition, held at the Royal Academy in London. The same year, she gained considerable media exposure when she swore repeatedly in a state of drunkenness on a live discussion program called The Death of Painting on British television. Two years later, in 1999, Emin was shortlisted for the Turner Prize and exhibited My Bed at the Tate Gallery. There was considerable media attention regarding the apparently trivial and possibly unhygienic elements of the installation such as yellow stains on the bed sheets, condoms, empty cigarette packets, and a pair of underwear with menstrual stains. The bed was presented as it had been when she had stayed in it for several days, feeling suicidal because of relationship difficulties. Emmons' relationship with the artist and musician Billy Childish led to the name of the Stuckism movement in 1999. Childish, who had mocked her new affiliation with conceptualism in the early 90s, was told by Emin, Your paintings are stuck. You are stuck. This led to him forming a movement, beginning with his poem, Poem for a Pissed-Off Wife. This caused a lasting rift between the two. In August 2006, the British Council chose Emin to produce a show for the Venice Biennale in 2007. She was the second female artist chosen to produce a solo show for the UK at the Biennale. She was, comment she was commended for this show, and it signified a turn and maturing in her career from her days with the YBAs. Emin is also a panelist and speaker. She has lectured at several universities and museums about the links between creativity and autobiography, and the role of subjectivity and personal histories in constructing art. Emmons' work covers a variety of different media, including needlework and sculpture, drawing, video, and installation, and photography and painting. She remains one of Britain's seminal artists. Thank you, and see you next week.